everybody. Welcome to another episode of How to Pass the Math FSA. This is the fifth grade edition. Fifth graders! Whoop, whoop. Today, our standard is going to be maths.5.nf.1.2. This is lesson 12, and we are going to add and subtract fractions and mixed numbers again. Yes! But this time, in word problems. Okay? If you remember from the last episode, we use this little rhyme to help us. When you add and subtract, denominators match. When you divide and multiply, breathe a little sigh. Because you don't have to do anything with the denominators. But today we have to because we're adding and subtracting. So, without further ado, let me teach ya. All right, so example one. Wade Lee. What's up, Wade Lee? Robert and Melissa, shout out to two YouTubers here, actually three YouTubers, who um, have been awesome about commenting and liking these videos. Shout out to you guys. Um, so Ro Wadley, Robert and Melissa are holding boxes of fruit. Wadley's box of fruit weighs, should be an S there, weighs 7 eighths kilogram. Robert's box of fruit weighs one and three-fourths kilograms, and Melissa's bo what box weighs two and a half kilograms. What is the combined weight of their fruit boxes? So let me make sense of this. Each person is holding a box that each has a different weight, and I'm trying to figure out the combination of all three. Therefore, I am adding them. Love it. Okay, so we have Wadley's box plus... Robert's box plus Melissa's box, Wadley's box is seven eighths kilograms. Did I say pounds earlier? I meant kilograms if I did. Two and a half. Okay. Now, when you add or subtract, your denominators match. But mine don't. They need to. I need to fix them. And I know that eight, four, and two have a common denominator of. Eight. So I'm going to rewrite all of these fractions with a common denominator of eight. Miss McCarthy, why are you leaving the numerators blank? I'm getting there too. Hold your horses. Okay. Seven eighths. I did nothing to change it, so that can say seven eighths. Here I did four times two to get eight, so three times two would be six. That's an equivalent fraction. All right. And here, 2 times 4 got me my 8, so 1 times 4 gets me 4 eighths, and now I can add them. All right, so I have, let me add my fractions first, 7 eighths plus 6 eighths plus 4 eighths, so 7 plus 6 is 13, 13 plus 4 is 17 eighths, and 1 and 2 is Three. And if you write 3 and 17 eighths in here, oh, don't do it. Why? Because my numerator right here is way greater than my denominator. And I have a, a, a whole number there. I need to make this into a better, more appropriate mixed number. So to do that, I can take out one more 8 here, which will get me 4 holes. Then I'm left with 9 eighths. But I can still take out another 8, which would get me 5 holes. 9 minus 1, I'm sorry, 9 minus 8 is, can you see this? Let me do it over here. You can take, so I take away another 8, and that would give me 5 and 1 8. So that is what goes in here, 5 and 1 8. Or you could also do 41 8, which would be the improper fraction there. Cool. Groovy. Let's right. Example two. Wyatt and Jaden each bought a cherry pie. That sounds delicious right now. The pies are the same size. Wyatt cuts his pie into ten slices. But Jaden cuts his pie into five slices. And we know that Jaden eats one slice. Together, Wyatt and Jaden ate seven tenths of one pie. How many slices of pie did Wyatt eat? So let me make sense of this problem. They each bought a cherry pie. So we have Wyatt and we have Jaden. We know Wyatt 
cut his pie into 10 slices. Boom. These are not very equal slices, but I want you to use your amazing um, imaginations and imagine that they are equal. I'm just visualizing a little bit, okay? All right, so there we go. We know that Jaden had one slice. We don't know how much Wyatt has, but together they ate seven tenths. So we know that he has 10 slices. We don't know how many he ate. We know that Jaden ate one fifth, and then together they ate seven tenths. These, this looks a little similar to our last episode where we had a missing numerator. Okay, so I want to add these fractions kind of, but look, my denominators aren't the same, so I need to rewrite this so that my denominators are the same. So, I know that the common denominator would be 10 equals 7 tenths. So we don't know. 5 times 2 got me my 10, so 1 times 2 will get me 2. So what plus 2 will give me 7? You're right. 5. 5 tenths. So that means y ate 5 slices. Example 3, and this is a two-parter. I love two-parters. Oh, they're so much fun. James, what's up James? Worked as a safety patrol for three and one-third hours this week. Adrian, what's up Adrian? Worked as a safety patrol for one and two-fifths hours this week. How many more hours did James work than Adrian? How many more means that I'm subtracting? Part A says create an equation to represent the situation above. So, I have, let me see. Okay, so what am I doing? I am subtracting the hours that James worked minus what Adrian worked. So James worked three and one third. So I would take this on the computer and drag it in minus two fifths. Sorry, one and two fifths equals er, H, my variable for hours, because that's all that I'm missing. But now I need to solve it. How many more hours did James work than Adrian? So let me write it over here. Minus one and two fifths hours. Do my denominators match? Nope, but I need to make a match. So three and five, they share a common denominator of 15. Ah, okay. Three times five gets me my 15. One times five gets me five. Boom. Five times two, e no it does not. Erase that, Miss McCarthy. Five times three equals 15, so two times three equals six. And now I need to subtract, and remember when we subtract, we need to subtract the fractions first. Five fifteenths minus six fifteenths, you can't do it, so you need to regroup. So this three becomes a two. When I do that, I have 15 parts that I distribute to the numerator, so plus 15. Rewrite it. 2 and 20 fifteenths, because 5 plus 15 equals 20, minus 1 and 6 fifteenths. All right, now I can subtract. So 20 fifteenths minus 6 fifteenths would give me 14 fifteenths. 2 minus 1 would be 1, so it would be 1 and 14 fifteenths would be my answer. Or 29 fifteenths, right? Yeah, 29 fifteenths. If you are totally lost on what I just did, go back and rewind and watch how I regrouped the fractions to make it so I could subtract them. And then Write down some more problems where your first fraction is less than the second one so you can practice regrouping two. Last one! Azul, hi Azul, runs five-eighths of a mile. She decides to run a little bit longer. After her run, Azul says that now she has run 
seven twelfths of a mile. Explain why Azul's statement is incorrect. You're wrong, Azul. Okay, so she says that she runs five eighths of a mile. And then she says oops, that now she has run seven twelfths. So she's saying that she went five eighths, then she ran some more, and her total is seven twelfths after her run. All right, so what I need to do is get my common denominator here because eight and 12, they don't match, and when I add or subtract, my denominators match. So I know that 24 would be my common denominator because eight times three is 24, so five times three would be 15. And I know that 12 times 2 is 24, and 7 times 2 is 14. So 15 plus something equals 14? That doesn't work. And the reason why is 7 twelfths is actually less than 5 eighths. So Azul, how are you going to go running 5 eighths miles, stop, and say, you know what? I'm going to run a little more. And now my total is 7 twelfths. No, it doesn't make sense because 7 twelfths is less than 5 eighths. So, here's what I'm going to write. Azul's statement is incorrect because seven twelfths the total she is claiming to have run is actually less than five eighths. All right, everybody, let's close up this episode with this awesome quote, which I think ties in really well with the last problem we just had. Now, in the last problem, Azul made a mistake, and that's okay. In my class, when I was teaching, mistakes were awesome. Why? Because that means that you are learning. It means that you are trying. I make mistakes all the time. You probably heard a million mistakes as I was talking. Um, people make mistakes, but you know what? That's because I'm trying. That's because Azul was trying. So remember that. Mistakes are the proof that you are trying. So it's okay to make mistakes. Just learn from it. 